Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Curator's Corner. Today, we focus on the 40th anniversary of Operation Urgent Fury by highlighting new artifacts outside our Cold War gallery here in the museum. On October 25th, 1983, the United States invaded Grenada, codenamed Urgent Fury, to protect 700 American medical students from a Cuban-supported coup. The fear was that these students would become hostages. Now, the artifacts in this case include a Soviet pistol captured by American soldiers from Cuban forces, also a paratrooper helmet worn by Captain John Mitchell during the initial assault, and an 82nd Airborne Beret worn by Specialist Elizabeth Milliken. In 1983, the Army excluded women from serving on assignments that involved direct combat. Operation Urgent Fury was a turning point. Specialist Elizabeth Milliken was a member of the 118th Military Police Company under the 82nd Airborne Division. Following her arrival in Grenada, she was immediately sent back to Fort Bragg. Three days later, she rejoined her unit in Grenada and performed guard duty at the American Embassy and guarded Cuban prisoners of war. Specialist Milliken was one of 114 females who participated in the invasion and was part of the first gender-integrated units ever deployed. I want to thank you for joining us for another episode of Curator's Corner. For more information about the museum, please visit our website.